Well, we're back with Tech Talk once again. Of course, uh, thanks to AML, AMLCares.com, who are our providers for all of our little gadgets that Adam gets to play with. By the way, this is Adam Oldfield. He's from FPM3.com. Check him out there. He'll come out and greet you. And uh, he's got a new little mingle that comes out after hours, too, in his pajamas. No, I'm just kidding. It's, but, uh, it's that, close. That Pretty close. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the tip. I appreciate that. <laughs> Adam. Yes. The mobile world is going crazy. And, of course, next month we're going to have one of the biggest mobile announcements yeah, that yeah. there's going to be. But tell me, what do you got here that you've been playing with well, from uh, AML, AMLcares.com? I was going to say, you know, our friends at AML actually uh, hot off the press, right, right out. I always usually get them right from uh, right from the word go. Uh, AML Communications gives me, well, I usually bug the, the snot out of them. Yeah. And then, <laughs> then they tend to say, fine, it's here, come get it. Anyway. Uh, yes, you do that to a lot of people. I do, actually. <laughs> now that you mention it, I think I pretty much covered off a lot of uh, annoying points. Uh, I've got in my hands here the HTC 8X, and I also got the new Nokia. Now we showcased the Nokia 800 series uh, mm -hmm. when we did our tech talk. This is the new 900 series, the 920. And so what's uh, unique about them is that they both got a very, you know, curved back. Yeah. Uh, the Nokia has got a little bigger screen, um, you know, and there's a little curve here on either side. Very nice, very, very similar. The HTC is very uh, comfortable in the hand. Actually, the HTC is about the size of the new uh, Blackberry. Yes. Um, but the HTC Windows phone here is it runs off the 8 series, which is really cool. I like that. Uh, and again, I'm going to speak particularly on business, whether it applies to like home. Oh, for sure. Um, but on a personal level, what is neat, which I will share, is it's got this connection to Xbox. So games, linking, all that stuff. If you're, mm -hmm. I don't play the Xbox, but I did see all the features on there. And they're still growing and developing them. But you've got interfaces that are running on a multi-platform uh, multi system. So you've got the ability now of these squares, all these little squares are changing and, and adjusting and so forth. One thing with the, uh, the, the phone directly on the Nokia is that it's got the turn by turn uh, navigation, which is really, really neat. And you know why that's important is mobile is growing. It is exploding and you're on the road. You got to know where to go. And this is like the all in one. So we've got the 2D, uh, 2D, 3D graphic of the new maps, which mm -hmm. is very important because uh, again, I've got my, uh, my Galaxy here and mm -hmm. uh, it's running the Android, which we saw turn by turn on Android has been around for a while. Windows coming out with the mark right away with turn by turn on the Nokia is fantastic. And it is very neat. It gives you uh, direct instructions and so forth. Um, my only challenge was immediately the, I love voice recognition. Again, in business, typing on flat screens was a bit of a, yeah, you yeah. know, going from a, a hard keyboard to a flat screen has been a bit of an adjustment. So I like the whole voice recognition. I like the fact that I can speak. It puts my dialogue in text. And with the Android, we demonstrated it did very well. In the Windows, first of all, it does come with it. I was a little disappointed when I turned them on. And I actually was having, a, I'm thinking to myself, oh, there's voice command, like call, call Greg yeah. or look for or, but it was wasn't any real uh, text to speech. So when I actually went in, I was kind of disappointed, didn't see that. However, uh, it, it was only until after I hit a button, the Windows button on the phone, held it down for a while, and it said, did you want to download directly the opportunity to uh, no, I didn't want. So it downloaded the English version of it, and there's multiple languages. And the reasons for that is primarily so you don't bombard the phone mm -hmm. with every language of speech recognition. So you have to actually preload it. Now, once you do that, you can get into your email program directly. And in this case, uh, and I'll get into the challenge I had with this, particularly with the phone, is I go to the, the email's really neat too, by the way. I like the compression when you're speaking to the same person about a project. That tree is very well managed. Uh, Blackberry did it well. They did it great with this one. So you get a white interface on the screen. You can't quite see it on, the, on our screen here, but you're only limited. There's a little microphone now in the lower right-hand corner, and you're allowed up to certain sentences. So there's only so much it actually can record, but it also will not uh, recognize words like, comma, period. It actually it types the word. Types the word, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know, you're only allowed up to about three sentences before it stops on its own. It mm -hmm. only has a very limited capacity of memory. However, I believe it's because it's loaded directly into the system itself. Mm, I don't okay. believe, whereas the Android needs a wireless or a connection yeah, you need to, be connected. to recognize. So, it's probably limitation and it's new. So, I can't knock them for the fact they're coming out of the gates right away with that voice recognition. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, limited to what it 
can do? Yes, of course. Now, every time you finish a sentence, it puts a period. <laughs> so it actually will record each time and put a period behind it. So it's just you have to go, you know, hi, Greg. You know, I wanted to tell, you know, not that that's not a proper sentence, but you get the idea yeah, of yeah, where the yeah, period yeah. would go. So the email and the voice recognition are very key. Now, one thing when you're choosing your mobile device in business is you got to really think about where all your life is being stored. So you got to think, okay, is my life being stored in Google? Is it being stored in Windows? Where is your life being stored? So if it's in Google directly, then you're probably going to want to go, like I'm talking about calendar, contacts, yeah. Gmail, Android is probably going to be your source of option. I was loading the Windows phone and because I am on a currently Android system, mm -hmm. I tried to load the uh, uh, Gmail, which my contacts and my calendar on the program. Uh, but what happened was my email, which is adam at fpm3.com, is on my own local server. Uh, it was confusing my email with my Gmail. And what happened was it said, oh, we can let you have your contacts and calendar, but you have a conflict because there's two email addresses. Never had that problem with Apple, Blackberry, or Android. Windows, however, can't let you load two email sources. Mm. So I've actually, it was good to have two Windows phones. So the HTC was my phone, which had my, uh, had my contacts and my mm -hmm. calendar. And then I had the Nokia running my email. Now, because it was the same operating system, it was very similar, but in this case, I, I had the luxury of carrying, well, three phones around. So the three phones were basically keeping me in contact. So that's a little bit of a challenge. Now, what is neat if you are on Hotmail or you use Microsoft Office or all the other items, it's going to, it, it will work, or work seamlessly across the board. Mm -hmm. So Office was really neat, 360, the sky, uh, where you can use your cloud to upload your, your elements and so forth on it. So. Um, again, Nokia's got a bigger screen, HTC's a little slimmer. Um, I found the HTC a little cumbersome, whereas the Nokia, real easy uh, buttons. You got a button on the side here. There's actually, all of them are on the right hand side. So you've got a button over here where you can actually change it to be the camera. Mm -hmm. The power button's in the middle and your volume up and down is on the right. On the I HTC, You've got a volume up and down, uh, and then at the top is this power button, but it's really kind of cumbersome. It's almost like where the Apple is, but it's mm -hmm. kind of buried a bit. And it, I mean, it works, but it's kind of hidden and tough to kind of mm -hmm. get to. So versus having, I like something I can feel, you yeah. know? Uh, this one took me a little while to get used to, but the sound system on this, it comes with the speakers and it's got amazing sound on the HTC. So I was very, uh, very impressed with that. So I get great direction on Nokia and I get fantastic sound on the HTCs, depending on what your flavor is. And thank goodness that you had the both of them because uh, I think you found out very clearly that uh, the Samsung Galaxy is not really comfortable in water. <laughs> no, and you know, to share a quick story with everybody, just to tell you, if we're gonna talk about speaking now off of another point, I got the Windows phones, it's you know kind of interesting. I got the Windows phones and these, they're, they've got the pins, you gotta use a pin to pop out the SIM chip. So anyway, I had a paper clip in my bathroom, so I, I decided, out of all my 10 year old glory, I run to the bathroom with the phones. Now, my Samsung is usually protected with an otter protector. It's mm -hmm. like a big plastic case and it, it can sustain a drop of five feet. It can sustain water dropped in water. It's got a water <laughs> seal to it. I take it off to get the SIM chip out on my phone. I put it down on the edge of the counter as I'm in the middle of popping out the chips. I turn my elbow to basically get the chip back in the toilet it goes. So I move like God into the water, I take it out and it's dripping. Now, I didn't pay attention if the toilet was used or anything, I didn't really care. But at the end it was dripping and I, it was almost- I'd keep it over there though. Yeah, exactly. It didn't, it didn't smell or anything. I wiped it with lights on it. Anyway, I grabbed myself, uh, the, it was like a surgery. It was like, stat, we got problems. I get the can of air, I got the hair dryer, I take out all the materials, I start dabbing it with the cloth, I spray inside the headphones and the jack, all the water comes out, I put the hair dryer on it, let it sit for 10 minutes, I plug it in and we wait for the moment. I see the Samsung logo come on. Oh, we're okay. All of a sudden it goes pixely, goes to green, boom, it goes black. So nothing, zero, not even as, oh my God, I'm going to die. Oh, how could I do such a thing? You know, it was almost like the Windows phones ganged up and threw it in the toilet. You know, get out of here. We don't need you, Android. So, 
So I end up basically the next day, I plug in the, uh, this is interesting, plug in the battery, get it back in again, and I let it dry overnight. And, you know, it was dry pretty much when I left it. Mm -hmm. However, all of a sudden, it turns back on. I got the Hercules screen, that green monochrome. And then all of a sudden, it ends up sort of growing back. And I'm like getting faith going, this is great. All of a sudden, I see on the screen, it's like I can see the time. I can see, yes, but nothing's moving. The touch was gone. So I could turn it on, I could see it, but I couldn't do anything with it. So I rebooted and it actually turned back on again. Everything seemed to be working fine. I'm screaming in excitement. I'm all pumped up. By the way, I'm using the Windows phones in the meantime. So yes, I'm kind of like, you're not yeah. going to believe this. I'm texting and calling because <laughs> I can't have the account on the same phone. I'm like, you know, so I end up basically, uh, I call AML. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm a fool. And, you know, I can't believe I did this, so on and so forth. But what happened was uh, it, 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 it came back on and it's working fabulous. So uh, the point is this light little phone, not that I'm plugging the, the, the Galaxy or anything like that, but at the end of the day, I don't know whether I got it in time or whether it can really sustain it, but I actually, I went on, on Samsung's uh, website on their Facebook and I commented on what happened and uh, they actually uh, wrote me back. So, oh, very nice. Yeah, said, wow, good job. You're a yeah. little bit of a fool for dropping yeah, it in yeah. water, but you know, good for you. So, yeah. anyway. Way to react quickly and get yeah. your hand in the I, toilet. I was only ready to throw one in, in the water. <laughs> I'm not ready to throw, you know, the new babies. No, you know. I think AML might yeah. have a little problem So with I'm kind of happy with this, so I'm just going to keep the, uh, keep the yeah, Samsung off to the side so but what is neat as well is that you know just to share with you some of the information that's going on in mobile which we talked about the turn by turn it was just announced that Apple got rid of their chief gentleman mm -hmm. that was handling the mapping software for OS 6 mm -hmm. as we know uh, you know we had Cook stand up and make apologies because the software wasn't up to up to snuff of what Apple was so they made some changes he's out of the picture uh, Google by the way is about to come out you know they've been giving a little bit of a flack they're coming out with an OS that will work with the Apple phone and it will have turn by turn. So the question is, can Apple get all these engineers and TomTom Tom to get up to speed quick enough before Google says, look, we've solved your problem. Just go with Google. So it would be interesting to see what happens from there. Obviously, we got the turn by turn side yeah. and what will happen. Um, now, on a side note, the one that I don't have here is, of course, the BlackBerry. Yes. And I just want to touch on why that's cool and why it's going to be neat is that I believe, I am excited about the new BlackBerry because they showed a demonstration on Wednesday last week and it actually crashed. And that normally would be a bad situation, except, except, you ready? The applications now run so independent, it's, the app was rebooting, not the phone. So wow. while you were saying, okay, the program crashed, it's going to reboot, you can go off and do other things. So go to your calendar, write an email. If that's the program that didn't crash, maybe it was your map or otherwise. So it really is running on a, on a full independent system. Very interesting in what they're going to be. Now, that was only one point they showed, but it's very easy, very seamless. You can switch between personal to business. Uh, I can't wait until I actually can see this thing in action. Yeah, I can't wait to. So on January. A, January. So stand by and, and we'll see what happens. Uh, social media trail quickly. Amazon places came to the mark. They mm -hmm. are competing against Facebook and Pinterest. So Amazon is now offering a very more robust social media shopping experience now online. Uh, as well, privacy issues. As of December 31st, you will be getting probably some notices from your credit cards. Take note because Canada is still the only country that really does give you privacy. And all other countries, the U.S., Otherwise, they actually don't have as much protection as we have in this country. So in the statement you'll be getting in your credit card, it actually says, please note, your information may be used or shared with third party sources from Mexico, Philippines, India, and the Ooh. United States. Ooh. Why that's important and why it's, why it's critical they have to do this is that these parties that are out in other sources, if they go bankrupt, if they get closed, or if the governments want access to that information, they're entitled to it. And your information is in that mix. If you do business with them. So keep in mind, you might want to keep an eye out on where and what your information is being stored on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's another segment of Tech Talk from AML, amlcares.com. That's Adam Oldfield from fpm3.com. And that's the background that Adam blew off with all of his hot air about mobile phones. And <laughs> I get so excited. We're going to be back next well, time with well. some more Tech Talk. Adam, what's up next? Uh, we're going to be showing off a new phone from LG with the Android. Ooh. Yes, yes. And we're going to be showing off as well the tablet. And Microsoft with their billions of dollars. I got a lot more coming from this bad girl. So We're welcome. all about mobile. We're all about technology. We're all about 
Tech Talk. That's from AML Cares. AMLCares.com. See you, Adam. See you later, Greg.